Are you ready to embark on a journey that could potentially change your financial future? Welcome to the realm of stock market investing, a world filled with opportunities and challenges alike. This isn't a game of chance, but a strategic journey, and understanding its intricacies can be your key to financial growth. The stock market can seem daunting with its fluctuating trends and complex jargon, but fret not, for every master was once a beginner. Today, we will start at the very beginning, laying a strong foundation for your investment journey. We'll delve into clear investment goals, risk tolerance, investing styles, and much more. This will be your beginner's roadmap, guiding you through the labyrinth of stock market investing, helping you unlock its secrets. So buckle up, because this journey is about to get interesting. Prepare to unlock the secrets of stock market success. Before you dive into the world of stocks, you need to know your destination. What are your investment goals? Having a clear understanding of your investment objectives is the foundation of a successful investing journey. It's like setting the GPS before you hit the road. Think about what you want to achieve with your investments. Are you saving for a down payment on a house, funding your children's education, or building a nest egg for retirement? These are examples of long-term goals. On the other hand, saving for a vacation or accumulating an emergency fund are short-term goals. It's important to note that your goals should be realistic. This means they should be achievable based on your income, savings rate, and the expected returns from your investments. Setting unrealistic goals can lead to disappointment and financial stress. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Investing isn't about throwing all your money into the stock market. It's about investing what you can afford to lose. The key to a successful investment journey is understanding your personal finances. It's about recognizing your income, expenses, debts, and savings. This financial self-awareness is the first step towards determining how much you can set aside for investments. Remember, investments should never compromise your essential expenses or your emergency fund. Think of it as a separate pot of money, something you can afford to lose without affecting your day-to-day -day life. It could be as little as 10% of your monthly income or as much as half, depending on your financial comfort zone. Also, bear in mind that investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a long-term commitment that requires patience and resilience. So before you dive in, ensure you have a clear understanding of your finances and an affordable amount earmarked for your investment journey. Invest wisely, not wildly. Every investment comes with some level of risk. Are you a risk taker or do you prefer playing it safe? This is where we talk about risk tolerance. It's basically a measure of your psychological comfort with potential losses. Imagine this. If you wake up tomorrow and find that your portfolio value has dropped by 20%, how would you react? If your answer is sell everything and exit the market, then you have a low risk tolerance. On the other hand, if you see it as a buying opportunity, you might have a high risk tolerance. Risk tolerance is crucial because it helps shape your investment strategy. High risk tolerance may lead you to invest more in stocks, which can be volatile, but offer higher potential returns. If you have a low risk tolerance, you might prefer safer options like bonds or mutual funds. It's all about finding the right balance for you. Know your risk tolerance. Know your peace of mind. Are you a day trader or a long-term investor? Your investing style is key to your stock market strategy. Every investor is unique with their own set of financial goals, risk tolerance, and time horizons. These factors often dictate one's investing style. Some of you might be active investors, preferring to manage your own investments and frequently buying and selling stocks. This style requires a good understanding of the market and time commitment. On the other hand, some might lean towards passive investing. This style involves buying and holding stocks for the long term, believing that in the long run, the market will provide a good return. Then there are value investors who hunt for stocks they believe are undervalued. These investors are all about finding bargains and holding on to them until their true value emerges. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. Your investing style should reflect your financial goals and comfort level. Choosing the right investment account can set the stage for your investing journey. 
The universe of investment accounts is vast and varied. Let's break it down to the basics. First, we have individual retirement accounts or IRAs. These are tax-advantaged accounts designed specifically for retirement savings. They come in two flavors, traditional and Roth, each with its unique tax benefits. Next are standard brokerage accounts. These are versatile, offering you the freedom to invest in a wide range of assets with no restrictions on when you can withdraw your money. Lastly, we have specialty accounts like education savings accounts and health savings accounts, which offer tax advantages for specific purposes. Remember, each type of account has its own perks and limitations. It's crucial to understand these before making a choice. Your decision should be influenced by factors like your financial goals, investment horizon, tax situation, and risk tolerance. Choose an account that aligns with your investing style and goals. Investing isn't free. There are costs involved, and it's crucial to understand them. The first cost you'll encounter is broker fees. These are the charges that brokers levy for their services, which can include everything from executing trades to providing investment advice. These fees can be a flat rate or a percentage of the transaction value, so it's important to know exactly what you're paying for. Next, we have transaction fees. These are the costs associated with buying or selling stocks. They might seem small at first, but they can add up over time, especially if you're an active trader. Finally, let's not forget about taxes. Depending on where you live and your personal circumstances, you may be liable for capital gains tax on any profits you make from your investments. So, before you dive headfirst into the world of investing, remember to factor these costs into your budget. Being aware of the costs helps you plan your investments better. A good broker can be your ally in the stock market. But how do you choose one? A pertinent question indeed. When choosing a stockbroker, you need to consider a few important factors. First, consider the cost. Brokers can charge fees for trades, account maintenance and more. So, look for a broker that offers competitive pricing. Next, think about the services offered. Some brokers provide bare-bones trading platforms, while others offer educational resources, advanced trading tools and personalized customer service. Lastly, consider the broker's reputation. Check online reviews and ratings and take note of any regulatory actions or complaints against the broker. Remember, your broker will be your guide in the investing world. They should provide you with the right tools and support to help you navigate the stock market. So take your time and do your homework. Choose a broker who aligns with your investment goals and budget. Your financial future may depend on it. You've chosen your broker. Now it's time to fund your account. Funding a stock account is an important step on the journey to becoming an investor. It's a straightforward process that involves transferring money from your bank account to your broker's account. This can be accomplished in a variety of ways, including wire transfers, electronic funds transfers, or even by check. Bear in mind, that the speed at which your funds become available can vary depending on the method you choose. Wire transfers are generally the fastest, often clearing within a day, while electronic funds transfers can take a few days. Checks, on the other hand, can take up to a week to clear. Remember, the sooner you fund your account, the sooner you can start investing. So take action today and get your money working for you. Once your account is funded, you're ready to start investing. Picking stocks can feel overwhelming, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. For starters, researching companies is key. Look for businesses with strong fundamentals, like a solid balance sheet, consistent earnings growth, and a competitive edge in their industry. Understanding market trends is equally crucial. Are there emerging sectors that are poised for growth? Are there industries in decline that you should avoid? Staying informed about the broader economic landscape can help guide your stock picks. And then there's diversification. This is the practice of spreading your investments across a variety of stocks in different sectors. Diversification can help manage risk as a downturn in one sector may be offset by growth in another. But perhaps the most important advice when picking stocks 
is this. Invest in businesses you understand and believe in. This way, you're not just chasing trends, but making informed decisions based on your knowledge and conviction. The stock market is ever-changing. Keep learning, stay adaptable. Step 10 on our roadmap to stock market success is a lifelong commitment, continuous learning. The stock market is not a static entity. It's a dynamic living organism that responds to a multitude of factors, from the health of the global economy to the latest tweet from a tech billionaire. To navigate this ever-changing landscape, you must commit to constant learning and adaptation. This doesn't necessarily mean earning a degree in finance, though that certainly wouldn't hurt. Rather, it means staying informed about the market trends, understanding the forces that drive stock prices and continuously refining your investment strategies based on new information. There's a wealth of resources out there to help you on this journey. Books can provide a solid foundation of knowledge. Classics like The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham and A Random Walk Down Wall Street by Burton Malkiel have guided generations of investors. But don't stop at the classics. New books are published every year offering fresh perspectives and strategies for navigating the modern market. Online courses are another great way to deepen your understanding. Websites like Coursera, Udemy, and Khan Academy offer courses on everything from the basics of investing to advanced financial analysis. Many of these courses are free or relatively inexpensive, making them accessible for all. Financial news is another invaluable resource. Websites like Bloomberg, CNBC, and The Wall Street Journal provide up-to-the-minute coverage of market trends. These can help you stay informed about the economic indicators and corporate news that can influence stock prices. Remember, the learning doesn't stop once you've made your first investment. In fact, that's when it really starts. Every investment you make is an opportunity to learn, to test your strategies, to gain experience. So embrace the learning process. Stay curious stay adaptable, and most importantly, stay informed. Knowledge is power, especially in the stock market. You've embarked on an exciting journey towards financial growth. We've navigated through the intricate labyrinth of the stock market, unveiling secrets that each corner holds. We've established clear investment goals, assessed the amount you can comfortably invest, and determined your tolerance for risk. We've explored various investing styles and the importance of choosing the right investment account. We've delved into the costs of investing, the process of picking a broker, and the steps to fund your stock account. We've also discussed how to pick your stocks and emphasized the importance of continuous learning in this ever-evolving world of stock investing. Remember, every successful investor started somewhere, and you've just taken the first step don't stop here. Continue to learn, grow, and make informed decisions. Your financial future awaits. Like, share, and subscribe for more expert insights and hacks from Marketing Matrix.